Hello everyone and welcome to Jumperman Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY and today we have a service call for a cooling tower. Thank you to everyone tuning into Jumperman Tech. Previously a contractor had too much work to handle so he called me in to finish a job. So I ran the electrical and I wired up these two pumps for this cooling tower. When we filled up the tower and ran the pumps, all the water-cooled units were not getting water. I troubleshooted the equipment and realized this is our return and this is our supply for the tower. Whoever started this job screwed everything up. So let's pay attention here. This is our tower. So the water is hot and returns from the top, comes down, it gets cooled off through here, and then this is supposed to be our supply to the pumps. Let's pay attention. Look at this piping, it goes through, okay? He made this the supply for our water-cooled units, but that's supposed to be the supply for these pumps. Something was going on where they didn't have good pressure or something, so the guy decided, you know what? Instead of just replacing the one pump and keeping the same design here, like a normal person would, he said, you know what? I'm gonna put in a second pump. And he's gonna start chopping up all these pipes and just messed everything up. So, just look at this piping too. Look how small this is and look how this expands. Like, come on, look at that. And look at this, come on. This is not professional work. This is kind of ridiculous. So, instead of feeding the pumps, he's feeding the units so there's no pressure. And then the water coming back <laughs> is what's feeding the pumps hot water. And then he, the, the water is just pumping right back into the cooling tower. It's doing nothing. So, we need a solution. So, the idea here is try to pipe this right. So this is our supply for our pumps. So we gotta cut this and try to maybe elbow it in here so this can feed our pumps. This is the discharge of our pumps. And then this, instead of going to the return to our tower, this has to go to our supply water. And then our return here has to come back into the tower here. I mean, this is a complete mess, but that's the plan to do this correctly. What a nightmare. I had the water supply shut off and our tower is empty and it, this tower is filthy as well. It, it really needs some maintenance. So that's our drain valve. Everything's drained. All the power is off for everything. So we're safe to work. So I guess the step here is to start chopping things up. And man, this is some ugly piping. Look at this crooked stuff. I mean, he's holding this with some tie wraps, some cable ties. This is not professional work. This is not something that I would do. But you know what? Everybody has a different price. And sometimes I may be expensive, but that's because you're gonna get the job done right. Now this contractor is at a big loss bringing me in. Best believe that. <laughs> it's so filthy here. I don't even wanna lay my tools down. You always got to protect your tools and clean off the job site. Do the right thing. Have some pride in your work. Got my partner at the job right now. We're cutting the pipes. So the idea is to go from the supply and bring it into here so we can feed these two pumps. So we're going to go elbow and elbow. So now the water is coming out. Going to come around this way and then feed both our pumps a little bit of water left in these pipes so what we're gonna do is open this up so it can breathe and then this valve is open so it can breathe through there just want to get rid of the remaining water because you can't brace with water in the pipes this is your strainer you see there's water in there you want that drained So now the water is now supplying both pumps, right? And now the discharge is coming out. We gotta cut this and feed it to the supply. So we gotta make a connection here 
and then this return has to get connected here so let's start with this cutting this up and connecting these it's cut got an elbow elbow then we got to connect these so let's find the center point right here and I can cut the pipe right there got it set let's confirm and that looks good so let's go ahead and cut this one up All right, so coming out of the cooling tower, right? It's coming around and feeding both pumps. Now coming out, going through here, feeding the supply. Now we gotta connect the return to the proper return. So this is all changed up the guy made a specific request that we use as least amount of fittings as possible so we made it happen it's as nice as it's gonna get because honestly if we did this from the beginning it will look much better and will be proper and we would give room so you could actually walk in here but it is what it is let's go ahead and start the pumps and make sure there's no leaks got the water filling up just turn on the pumps Everything's looking good. Yeah, that pipe feels cold, so it must be returning water. All right. We got water coming back to the tower with a good pressure. All right. Some more acrobatics. It's working here, man. All right. All right, so here's the setup. That's for the tower pump. Here's for the fan, let's turn the power on. Let that VFD start. All right, I click start. It says motor current 5.7 amps, 5.1 amps. Let's go ahead and check that. All right, the fan's running, but if you look at the belt, how it's shaking, it's worn out. The belt has to be replaced, but we're running. That's not what I came here for. We came here to finish the piping and make sure these pumps work. We're good on our side. I can see water trickling down. This tower is filthy. It definitely has to be cleaned, but the pumps are running and everything is piped correctly. That's the main thing. I'm gonna wrap this job up here. That was it, they gotta change that belt. They gotta clean this tower. You gotta check the three units that work off this and do some troubleshooting, but my job here is done. If anyone found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe. I'll catch you all next time.